Hello and welcome to the video. Today we have two laptops from Lenovo. Both are very very identical except the processor. This comes with an Intel i5 10th generation which clocks at which has a base clock of 1 GHz. This is the AMD Ryzen 3 which comes with AMD Radeon graphics. The Intel one does not have any integrated graphics like Intel Graphics HD 3000 or Iris but this comes with Intel AMD Radeon graphics and Ryzen 3 this also has a little bit different features and a name for example this comes with a privacy shutter which is just a tab it's, it's some kind of velcro not sure about its long time durability and this does not come with any such feature looks wise they are very very identical the minor differences are power button in the AMD model you get a separate power button but in the Intel model it comes integrated with the keyboard that is the only major difference in looks some of the minor differences are in the Intel version I'm not sure if you're able to see it properly but the brush finish goes in a horizontal manner but in the AMD it's in a vertical manner this is metal textured or aluminium textured plastic none of this is metal this will be using for timer and appearance wise this also comes with Dolby Audio as standard both of them have Dolby Audio and Dolby Audio and yeah the same as you can see the brush finish is a bit different this flows in a horizontal way and this in a vertical so that's the only major difference as you can see this starts booting when you open it up which I'll be disabling in the BIOS and then we'll do a quick boot test before we get to the test I want to make one thing clear the AMD comes with 4 GB of RAM and this comes with 8 GB out of which 4 is soldered onto the board and 4 is expandable but I don't think it will have a huge difference because this has graphics card, integrated graphics, so should help in booting. So as I'm the only person here, I'll quickly press the both buttons and start it. 3, 2, 1. Then it has started. Quickly, the you can already see the difference. AMD is already in the boot screen. It's booting into Windows. And the Intel, yes, no. And I'm sure they both are very close. Here's the timer. I'll hold it in my hand. None of these are plugged in. Both are running off their own power in the battery. Internals are almost the same. It's only the processor and RAM. 41 seconds in. The greatest letdown of both these laptops is its very slow 5400 RPM 1TB hard disk. It is also advisable that you get an SSD or a super fast NVMe drive when you purchase this laptop. Also pricing wise, the AMD is a bit cheaper than that, around 14,000 difference. But Ryzen appears to be a little bit old because it's, a, it's in the boot screen. This is still there. It's also nothing. Yes, the Intel has one, which is... But still, as you can see, this hasn't loaded. The taskbar icons. So we have to wait until it loads. Yes, it has loaded and as you can see it took 4 minutes and 40 seconds to load completely. Yes, this is in but it still hasn't loaded with taskbar icons. It's almost 5 minutes in. We'll be able to do it within 5 minutes. Yes, 5 minutes and 1 second for the Intel 
5 minutes 1 second and 13 milliseconds and as for the intel it took 4 minutes and 40 seconds very close but win for the intel one point and next we'll be doing a plugged in test to see how they both compare Windows has booted but I want all the icons to appear and load. Only then will the clear winner emerge. Very slow. Yes. 2 minutes 30 seconds. AMD emerges the winner. How long is it going to take the Intel? Timer is still running. Yes, it is booted, but let's wait for it to load. When will it load? Yes, loaded. And there we go. As you can see the results, it's almost a 2 minute difference. The AMD took 2 minutes and 30 seconds to boot into Windows and load all the icons, while the Intel i5 model took 4 minutes and 12 seconds to load. Very slow. My 10 year old laptop can do faster than this. Moving on to camera, I haven't really tested the AMD version. But I'm pretty sure both of them have the same camera. Camera. And one very noticeable difference is, this loads all the applications very fast. Which isn't the same with the Intel. As you can see, we have to pull the anti glare. I mean, yeah, and isn't very good, but it's pretty good. Good picture quality, and uh, let's check what's resolution. As you can see, 0.3 megapixel at very low resolution. Not very good, but okay especially for video conferencing and stuff and as for the intel same camera but i think it's going to take longer to load yeah it's very slow camera that quick and yeah for some reason this camera is a little bit more blocky very good camera but good for video conferencing and stuff not good for making youtube videos and stuff like that so let's quickly close this so that's it for the differences same screen which one would you buy is it the amd or intel amd or intel depends on your purposes but i would definitely go for the amd Although it's a bit old processor when compared to the i5 10th generation, this performs very good. Despite it having 4 GB of RAM, it has excelled the Intel thanks to a different architecture. So, it basically depends on what you want to use it. For very mild usages, the AMD is good. Also, it's cheaper than the Intel. But if you really want to go for Intel, just go for it. AMD is a new player in the market so many people would not trust it but trust me it's very good see you in the next video thank you also let me know down in the comments would you buy the amd or intel see you